Welcome to the TPC Desktop video series. In this video, we'll look at the new CAD view in TPC Desktop 2016. I've opened a learning guide file called Learn Import CAD. And in the learning guide, we show how you can right click, go to Tools, Import Data into Drawing. We can tell Traverse PC that we want to bring in a CAD file that we got from the architect, engineer, or client, how we want to bring it in with a number of options, and then we simply import that file. And Traverse PC converts those CAD objects into objects in the drawing view that Traverse PC can use and renders the drawing for me. And I can come in here now and select utilities or features that I want to stake out, or I can add additional information uh, to the site, to the project. It's a great, it's a great tool. Uh, and then, of course, I can turn right around and write a DWG or DGN or DXF file or PDF or whatever I want. Let me show you how we do this in 2016 now with the CAD view. Uh, you can still do things exactly the way we just showed you. And at times, you may want to. But I want to do it a little bit differently here. So I'm going to open a, a CAD view. It's just another view that we've added to the program. And I'm going to tell Traverse PC I want to open that same DWG file. Here it is. The great thing is now, this is a separate uh, CAD file, so I haven't brought everything over to this um, drawing view. Let me just show you really quickly then that um, I can do all kinds of things with the view itself, but I think this is what you're primarily going to be interested in. I can select objects over in the drawing view. I'm just going to do a window here, select these objects. Then I'm going to right click and tell Traverse PC in the tools that I want to copy those selected objects to the CAD view. So when I re-render the CAD view, do you see the boundary here now? And you can see that my drawing in Traverse PC is oriented with north at the top of the page. You can see that my CAD file has north oriented to the right side of the page. And Traverse PC and CAD uh, understand each other and can share that information appropriately. Now, the great thing is, if I wanted to, I could save this file, and I would be returning to the client the very same file they sent me originally with all their stuff in it, but with the lines and labels and annotations and symbols added that I just copied over. So it's a great way to work with uh, an existing CAD file and not have to create a new one each time. Now, what I want to do is send a little information back. So I'm going to open up the layers. I'm going to select all and turn everything off just because I want to come up to the curb layer. And I just want to show this to you real quickly that if I want, I can say, you know what? I need to stake out curbs uh, this coming week. So I just want to pick these up and I want to send those back over to the drawing view. So here they are now over in the drawing view. And if I put the cursor over one of these objects here, can you see that that's a line in the curve layer? There's an arc in the curve layer. And there's a polyline on the curve layer. So that same information that was on that layer in the CAD view, in the CAD drawing, is now in the survey in Traverse PC. And I can then convert to survey so I can get points and uh, arcs and stuff out of that, radius points, so I can go out and do stakeout on it. So I just want to give you a real quick sneak peek of uh, what's coming. Uh, we've got a lot of things on our list for this CAD view, but we basically want to create a, a more seamless way for you to work with a CAD file in place uh, without having to create a new one each time, and a way to pull in just the data you need when you need it into your Traverse PC drawing.